everyone, this is Sarah from Japan, and welcome back to another read along. Today, we're going to be reading out of the book of Philemon, or Philemon, however you want to pronounce it. Okay, so it's towards the end, um, before Hebrews, you know, towards the, in the New Testament. So please open up your Bibles to Philemon. All right, let's get started. Okay, so before, before we begin, though, let me tell you a little bit about uh, Philemon, okay? Uh, Philemon, all right, is, let me find my notes here, okay? So Onesimus is a runaway sl slave that um, was being returned to his owner, Philemon, okay, who is a Christian of Colossae, okay, and Paul had talked about Onesimus a couple of times, you know. So uh, Philemon was somewhat, somewhat an affluent man and a convert of Paul, okay. So a church fellowship met in his home. Paul wrote to him mentioning his planned visits and also urging Philemon to free Onesimus, okay, his slave. Onesimus was also converted under Paul's ministry and served Paul in Rome. So that's what the, the connection is there, see? Okay, and he talks about Onesimus and Timothy as well. All right, so, um, or I think it's, it, it looks like Onesimus, but it could be uh, One, Simas, or whatever. But um, anyway, the letter is a beautiful, tender appeal to Philemon to receive Onesimus, who more than likely also robbed his owner before running away. Okay, so... There's some unforgiveness there between Onesimus and Philemon, all right? So Paul even offered to repay the money. There was much slavery in the New Testament days. The Jews had kept slaves, but it was regulated by Mosaic law. Under Mosaic law, the, the slave was regarded as a member of the owner's family and possessed, possessed social and religious rights. The Jews maintained a re relatively high level of action towards those who were slaves. So they, they were slaves, but they were kind of treated more like family, like uh, family servants, you know? Okay, so um, a slave could not be kept over six years, all right? For freedom was granted on the sub sabbatical year. If a slave was injured, he was set free, and the killing of a slave was considered murder, okay? Escaped slaves were not to be turned in. Slavery had developed as a more humane way of dealing with captives than to kill them, okay? So when they... Um, did, when the Jews did battle, instead of killing them, they took people as slaves, okay? It was kind of a show of mercy. Now, Roman slavery and African-American slavery, as we both know, is quite different, okay? It's much, much different. I mean, it's very different from um, much, much different. I mean, what kind of English is that, right? I'm sorry. It's very different from uh, Jewish slavery, which um, still had, you know, still gave the slaves dignity. You know, and they made him a part of the family. You know. But Roman slavery was quite different. The Romans made it a cruel, harsh, and unmerciful practice. Not, not, not very, um, on, not, you know, what can I say? It's very similar to the American slavery, you know? So, uh, slaves were used for various trades and technical work and often well-trained. To the Romans, a slave was looked upon as a piece of property, okay? With no, so with no right of marriage. He could be crucified, thrown to the beasts or fish, or treated as the master wished, okay, for his, for his own entertainment, you know. So slavery was so evident in Rome that during the time social status depended upon the number of slaves a person owned. <clears throat> Many slave owners had hundreds of slaves. Slavery was one of the most, one of the greatest demoral, mor, demoralizing, <laughs> demoralizing, sorry, um, agencies in the Roman Empire. When Paul wrote this epistle to Philemon, he was a prisoner in Rome. Thus, this is one of the great, uh, this is one of the prison epistles. Paul was a very, sorry, Paul was very gracious in his letter and appeal to Philemon on behalf of Onesimus. There is no evidence in the Bible how Philemon received his returning slave, but tradition indicates that Onesimus was received by Philemon and given his liberty, okay? Because as I just stated, a runaway slave is, you know, not to be enslaved again. You're just supposed to let him go, okay? All right. It is also held by tradition that Onesimus became a bishop in Berea, okay? The freeing of a slave and the treating of him as a brother, as requested by Paul, would be a true demonstration of Christian principles, okay? So let's read on to the book of Philemon, shall we? All right, so Philemon, chapter 1. There is only one chapter in the book of Philemon, as you know. All right, greeting. Verse 1, a Paul, a prisoner of, uh, sorry, a Paul, no. 
Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our beloved friend and fellow laborer, to the beloved Aphia, Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in, our, in your house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Philemon's love and faith. I thank my God, making mention of you always in my prayers, hearing of your love and faith which you, ha which you have towards the Lord Jesus and towards all the saints, that the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. For we have great joy and consolation in, you, in your love, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed by you, brother. This is a... This phrase here is very good, I think, you know. Um, he's thanking, you know, the Lord for Philemus because, you know, they find great joy and consolation in, 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 in his love, okay? And the hearts of the saints have been refreshed. I pray that I can be a, a, the kind of uh, uh, Christian sister that would be refreshing to all the saints around me. We need to be refreshing, not, you know, uh, stale or not too bitter or, you know, harsh or, what you know, whatnot. We need to be firm, but, you know, um, we need to be a blessing, a consolation, you know, a great joy, okay? We need to refresh those around us. The plea for once in us, therefore, though I might be very bold in Christ to command you what is fitting, yet for love's sake, I rather appeal to you, being such as, a, as one, sorry, being such a one as Paul, the aged, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ, I appeal to you for my for my son, Onesimus, whom I have begotten while in my chains, who once was unprofitable to you, but now is profitable to you and to me, because he's been he's been reborn now. He's a new man now, this Onesimus guy. I am sending I am sending him back. You therefore receive him, that is, my own heart, whom I wish to keep with me, that on your behalf he might he might minister to me in my chains for the gospel. But without your consent I wanted to do nothing, that your good deed might not be by compulsion, as it were, but voluntarily. For perhaps he departed for a while for this purpose, that you might receive him forever. No longer a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Philemon's obedience encouraged. If then you count me as a partner, receive him as you would me. But if he has wronged you or owes anything, put that on my account. I, Paul, am writing with my own hand, I will repay. Not to mention to you that you owe me even your own self. Besides, yes, brother, let me have joy from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in the Lord. Refresh my heart in the Lord. Having confidence in your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even more than I say. But meanwhile, also prepare a guest room for me, for I trust that, though your prayer, that through your prayers I shall be granted to you. Farewell. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, greets you, as do Mark, Aristarchus, Aristarchus, Demas, Luke, my fellow laborers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Okay, so that is the book of Philemon. And I will come back to you later with Hebrews. Alright, so until next time, I pray that you are blessed in Yahshua's name. If you have a prayer, uh, prayer request, please let me know. I know, I'm just like, I'm so articulate tonight. I'm sorry. All right, so I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. I'm out. Goodbye. Bye.